everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, and welcome to Awesome Solo of the Day and How to Play It. Today we're going back to 1979. Have a look at the really fantastic solo to Jane by Craig Chiquico and Jefferson Starship. Bit of an interesting one here, so we're going to dig a little bit into the history of this track before moving on to the tutorial. Should you wish to uh, skip this three or four minute rock and roll history lesson preamble, you can easily skip ahead to... Good, yeah? Right then. Jane and Jefferson Starship, previously known as Jefferson Airplane and later to be simply known just as Starship. Now, throughout the vast majority of this band's career, Grace Slick was the chief vocalist and pretty much the face of Jefferson Airplane Starship, uh, not discounting Paul Kantner's many contributions to the band as well, of course. However, for a brief period in the late 70s, Grace decided to leave the band, and the band released one album without her, 1979's Freedom at Point Zero. Now, as you know, the 60s iteration of Jefferson Airplane Starship uh, was, a, was a rather psychedelic affair, uh, with their 70s output being mostly light rock, which they would continue on with when Grace rejoined the band in the early 80s. However, while Grace was gone, the band pumped out what would go on to be one of the band's biggest ever hits. Jane, of course, uh, a track that sounded absolutely nothing like anything the band had ever done before. This was guitar riff driven hard rock, uh, almost bordering on metal, or you know, what was considered metal back in 1979. Uh, I personally remember thinking, where the bloody hell did that song come from, from this band? Uh, I absolutely loved this track when it was all over the radio in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, but especially its fantastic main riff, uh, the high-pitched vocals, and of course that killer guitar solo by Craig Chiquico that just comes out of nowhere mid-song to melt your face off for 30 or 35 seconds. Uh, a solo that Craig had to fight tooth and nail to have included on the track. Uh, you see, band management and the record label were fighting just as hard to have it removed because they knew that they potentially had a hit single on their hands with Jane, uh, but felt that radio would not pick up or play the track with a long screaming guitar solo in the middle of it. Thankfully, Craig won this battle and the solo stayed. Uh, obviously, management and the record company were wrong on this one as the track would go on to become one of the band's biggest ever hits and one that completely rocked, thank you very much. Uh, the solo, it goes without saying, not only didn't hinder the track's popularity, it actually became a highlight of the song and remains to this day as one of the greatest guitar solos of all time. And then Grace Slick would come back and they'd release We Built This City on Rock and Roll and absolutely destroy any hard rock credibility the band had built up with Jane. Uh, oh well, uh, you know, for one brief shining moment in 1979, we had a hard rock Jefferson Starship and it was awesome. Uh, and speaking of awesome, it is awesome solo of the day, is it not? Uh, so let's learn how to play this one. But first, let's close in here a little bit. All right, let's have a look at how to play the solo to Jane. Really great solo by Craig Chiquico on this one from Jefferson Starship. And uh, we are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and we're going to be working in the key of E minor, using mostly the E minor pentatonic, though we do uh, some uh, chromatics at one or two points in this solo. We grab a note out of the, uh, the E Dorian, that one there, at one point in this solo. We also grab that note at one point in this solo, which is not in the pentatonic, that's out of the E natural minor scale. But, uh, you know, 95% pentatonic work that we're dealing with here. And the solo starts with these, these big bends at the 17th fret of the high E string. <laughs> Now that's the opening lick. So we're gonna grab that 17th fret of the high E, bend it four times. Full step bends. Each time you get it to the top, you're gonna to pick it again. And each time you pick it again, you're gonna choke the note off, right? So you don't want them ringing out too long before going back into the next bend. So four times, pick each bend when you get it to the top. Now, the fourth time you bend that up there, you're going to pick it one more time and release it off to 15. 
into that lick right there. Little roll there on the 17s. And then just a little back and forth between the 15, 17 of the high E and finish on the 17 of the B. To finish the whole lick, you're going to grab a double stop at the 15th fret of the B and the high E and slide out of it because our next lick is going to take place down here at the, uh, the neck position. So that's the opening phrase. One more time. Now we're into this fun little legato section. Uh, very quick uh, legato work he's doing here. That little part right there. Uh, slowing down legato like this uh, is really difficult because the notes won't ring out properly. So I'm going to pick all of these notes to show you what he's doing, but know that he's not picking any of them. He maybe picks the first one and the rest is just all legato work. So he's doing some trills between the open B string and the third fret. Three of them actually. And then he's going to grab the third fret of the high E, pull that off to open. Five off to open, three off to open. So the whole thing up to that point. Two more pull-offs from three to open of the B. So it starts with three pull-offs or trills, kind of like that, right? You're starting on the open. And then you're going to do the three to five to three of the high E. Two more trills on the B string on the third fret. And then one, uh, a pull off uh, from the second fret of the G off to open. And that finishes the whole legato thing. So, so that is, those are all the notes, but you're not going to pick any of them except the first one. But this is how it would be played without picking it. And uh, like when you slow that down, it just gets really messy trying to demonstrate, you know, slow legato, but that's it, right? And then we're going to grab that second fret of the uh, G string and we're going to do this. So we're going to bend that second fret, grab the third fret of the B with our pinky. Three more bends of the uh, second fret. Release natural note. All going on on the open strings and the second fret. D and the G string. Now when you're doing these bends, if you catch some of that open B string, sounds just fine. it is the note that we're bending up to, right? And I think he's actually doing that. And you finish on the second of the D. And then just before moving into the next section, we're going to grab a little double stop here. Seven of the G, eight of the B, slide out of it. And, uh, and then we're into this position of the pentatonic. Uh, now we're going to do some chromatics. We're into that. So we're going to go 12, 13, 14 of the A string. And then grab a double stop on the 12th fret of the G and the B. And you're going to do that twice. And then 14, 12, 14 of the D string. Right? Pretty easy. So then you're going to grab the double stop on the 12s of the G and the B, grab the 14 of the D, and then back to the double stop. Which leads into that. 14, 12, seven, uh, 9 to 7, 
7 to 5. Now we're moving up to the A string, 7 to 5. And then 5 to 3 of the low E. And then off to open. time, nice and slow. Now off this uh, open E string, you're going to go three, five, going to give that five a little bend release back off to three, back off to open. And then we're into that. So we're going to do this little chromatic run again. 12, 13, 14 of the A. Back down to the double stop on the G and the B at the 12. And there we're getting that, that Dorian note that I mentioned earlier. Just uh, 14, 12, 14, 12. Back on to 14. Finish on the 12 of the G string. And now we're into the unison bends. So 12 of the high E bending the 15 of the uh, B string. Move it up two places. Move it up one. So those are the unison bends. And now this final lick finishes the solo. Uh, all on the 15, 17 of the high E. Coming out of the unison bends. Move it up three places. I think that's the uh, 19th fret or sorry, 20th fret, and up to 22. Full step bend, and that finishes the solo. Full step bend, and that's the end of the solo. So let's run through the whole thing nice and slow, and, uh, and then we'll be done. And that, my friends, is how you play the solo to Jane by Craig Jakiko and Jefferson Starship. Uh, I certainly hope that helped you out. Were you looking to learn this classic uh, solo from 1979? Uh, if it did, please hit that like button. That would be awfully nice. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already. That would also be awfully nice. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload something new. I uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.